What's up, y'all? Dude, it is already really hot. And we just got to the garage. So the time has come. We're trying to get our other phone charged so that we can do some B-roll of the inside when we're doing this. But the time has come for us to finally put in our fan. And I am ecstatic that yes, we probably could have waited till it's a little bit cooler, more evening, so that we're not suffering in the sun. But I'm just trying to get this done. Got my little sun projector on so we don't get sunburned. That the first step is gonna be to trace out our outline of the where the fan is gonna go. This is the adapter that you can get on eBay. I've seen some builders, what they'll do is put it on top, cut it out, but make sure that it's not in the way of any cross members, any cross beams, so that way you're not cutting and then you really have to cut. Pretty much, you wanna keep those cross beams there so that way you have structural integrity on your roof, on your ceiling. That way, if you add a roof rack and more weight, it's not gonna dip or cave in and then you have to figure something else out. And we'll be touching base as we go along or we'll just add a voiceover, but one thing that you do wanna cover is that you're sure that you have a trash bag. This is gonna go inside the van underneath where we're gonna be cutting, so that way it catches any metal shavings. But again, we'll talk about that as we go. Well, hello. We got our template, we have our painter's tape, and we have a Sharpie. This is, before you start anything, start going crazy, I know this is mostly talking to myself. Connor, slow down, take your time. That this is where you wanna take the opportunity to place your template where you think it's gonna go. And we have our side door open, so what I'm doing is I'm just double checking. One of the reference points that I'm using is that these little valleys, that at the end of it is where my cross beam is that I looked at because this one has a hard edge. This one kinda of just, this one continues and opens up into a bit of a delta. So it's hard to see if that if that is where it is. But this one, when I looked inside the van, that it has a hard edge, comes around, and then I can touch it, I can even, I can physically see that that's the wall of this seam. And so what we're gonna do is put our template there, put our template, and then just push it back just a smidge, just to give us a little bit room for error. Now this is where the template is, that it gives it a little bit more of a flat surface for this because this takes into consideration and sits within that valley and then when we cut into it boom and then we'll be able to cut into it now this square itself is a 14 by 14 size and you can just use this as your template so we're going to put our sharpie we're going to tape this down get our sharpie and trace around the interior of this where shortly after we're going to be utilizing this drill bit and we're going to be cutting and we're going to be drilling holes in each corner that's going to allow for a jigsaw blade to cut straight across instead of us having to do some sort of angle grinder. You could use the angle grinder if you want to, but we don't have one. Or using a Dremel and cutting along. But once you have the outline, you can go ahead and remove your template and that way you don't mess that up and you have your outline, put the tape around it, start cutting. Another reference point that you can utilize, it's gonna be along your van, depending on what van you have, but most of them should be the same, that you have these little grommets that cover up some existing bolt holes for a roof rack that most often those are gonna be along a seam, cross beam or a strut, that that's how you know where one is. So we put our adapter dead center between one of these grommet holes and where our, we're gonna call it the main channel, one of the cross beams here. It's, that's interesting. Oh, we need the butyl tape too. That's what else we need. Amazing how hot it is up here. Holy wow. Just touching this adapter within the few minutes that we've been up here, it is scorching. This is definitely super sketch. You're literally drilling into the roof. Oh, uh, brother. All right, just no time like the present, I guess. <laughs> well, fully committed. God, it's trippy, dude. <laughs>
We just dropped in some skylights here. This is a different little angle. We got the main tripod up here on the roof and we have it on the baby tripod. But I will tell you, this was extremely unnerving getting that first bit into the roof that we gave ourselves a little bit of room in the corners that will work with our jigsaw and then we'll file any addition that we need to. So pretty much what we're gonna be doing is just going, is going from hole to hole, hole to hole, hole to hole, and cutting me across hole to hole instead of kind of one continuous line. Some trash bags here to catch any metal shavings. There's already been some that's fallen in. We're gonna sweep it out real quick and then continue to cut the hole. <sighs> Y'all, this is game time, son. Okay. I mean, that bag kind of works. <laughs> oh, that's funny. So just a quick update. We have cut out the hole. The only thing is actually getting the max air fan, I guess you could call it a template, to fit within that square. We were a little concerned on making sure that we didn't cut too much material off. It's always easier to cut more off should you need it than replace it. It fits for the most part pretty good. There's this little area that needs to be more, that needs to have some material shaved off so that way it's in there because right now it's super snug that I'm afraid that we could probably make it fit but then it just feels like it might be a little bit distorted so we're just gonna continue shaving it off and then continue the process. First try, not really. I'd like to extend my deepest thanks to my neighbors for being extremely patient. This is probably the last 30 minutes. <laughs> the last 30 or 40 minutes took us to actually get into this just to make sure this adapter fit, which means that the interior portion will fit, should fit. Uh, we can always maybe file it down the line. But now that we have that going for us, so we're just gonna spray it in there first. to make sure we don't have any rust spots. Okay, so the next step is gonna be to put in our adapter. We're not really clamping it. So here we are. We, we put the adapter on. We have all these clamps. These are from Harbor Freight. I think I want to say it costs about $30 to get all those. It's just going to help with the adapter once we put the window weld onto the roof. That we're just going to let it sit there for a little bit, about 15-20 minutes, let it just sit here, and then we're going to continue on with pre-drilling the holes from the fan outer ring. I'm not sure what to call that, but we're going to call it the outer ring to the adapter. That just Apply butyl tape, have it sit on top of the adapter, and then we're going to pre-drill with 1 8 
inch drill bit into the adapter and into the roof and that way it'll make the screws go in a whole lot easier and then we'll continue doing and we'll continue and then we'll be close to wrapping this up applying uh putting your butyl tape inside the freezer to make it easier to come off and it doesn't adhere to the backing but we had in the fridge for the last couple days and it looks like it might have helped do the trick which we've discovered that's what this is called is a flange not sure if i like that You want to make sure that the silver flanges are facing the side of your vehicle. So I'm just line that up, press that down. We're in the home stretch of the fan install now. So what we're gonna do is just screw them in. We're gonna do the corners and work our way to evenly distribute the load. It's definitely weird seeing inside your van. That could be one way to gauge on how tight it is if you just feel around and most of your screws feel the same way. The appropriate way to probably the appropriate way to approach this would probably be to do it with the hand is to hand tighten them so you can really feel the tension. Uh, but that looks good. We're gonna go ahead and test fit the fan before we put the lap sealant on and then uh, place it onto the the van. For this portion, you're gonna want to manually crank your fan open. So that way you can expose these little side doodads where you're gonna be screwing your additional, we're just gonna go ahead and pull these out so that way they can fall into the van. Boom, dude. Yo, <laughs> we're right there, just saw a rabbit. Let's get more of that. There you go, look at that. Yo. All right, so we've applied the self-leveling lap sealant, and it definitely flows a lot different than it did in a lot of these YouTube videos, because everyone's flowed real quick, and it was real oozy right out the gate. But ours, not quite so much. But we apply tapes so that way wherever it overflows, once it's kind of dried, we can just peel it. It's not pretty. That's for sure. So the plan currently is gonna be, we're gonna make a small little station here in the corner, right behind the driver's side. That's gonna be our main control, our main power bank. So at the moment, we're not gonna need much, but that way it just looks a little bit cleaner. It's, it's more integrated into the van and it's let, it doesn't stick out quite as much. So we have our positive and negative wiring that we're gonna be hooking up to this that we're gonna run through here along the spine for now, up around here. And we also have the, that comes with your stock wiring and then just tuck it down up into our general area for our power bank. So that is our positive. We're gonna be snagging our negative. Test fit that and we're good. So now what we're gonna do is, so now I just roughly see where the connection lines up to. It's around here so we can measure. We're approximately here. We can actually even tuck that in for now. So we have it here. We're gonna run it through here, alongside. We wanna give ourselves a lot of extra wiring just in case. And we'll just say it's approximately that long. There it is. Measure the same length wire for the positive. Then we have wire loom. I'm not, I wasn't too sure which one to get. Cause we have 
half, which is too big for sure, three eighths and a quarter, which I'm thinking, I wonder if a quarter will work. It will for the fan, but for these additional wiring, I'm not too certain. little quick hello we're just gonna leave it here and that way it's not really just hanging So here is our fan. We have it wired in with the wire loom through the frame along through here. We tried tucking it all the way down to here, but there's a small little joint that narrows. There's a small little wedge that comes here at the corner that the wire loom was not able to fit through. So we ended up just coming out, coming back out, running along, and then tucking it down through there where we have it up through here, over that little hump, up through here you can start seeing the wiring again, up to that corner where this is where our little power bank is gonna be. This We're gonna make a small little section for it. Um, and then maybe even just put something, nail something here, and then put our control panel there, the little five switches. Because eventually, as we talked about before, my motorcycle sits somewhere up here where we have approximately 34 to 36 inches to play with. So we're gonna put a small bench here we'll, we'll, that we could probably put a drawer for the battery to sit in. And eventually that's gonna be a window, etc. But So we have our 12 volt plug. This came from one of our slime tire and flare kits. We have our Spore 240. This is going to be what powers the electronics within our van. It's very portable. Major time to ground control. It is 90 degrees temperature. How do we turn this on? I'm not seeing anything happen. Oh my God, nothing's happening. Oh snap, we got air, son! It's loud. And I can feel some air coming in. It's saying it's 91 room temp, that we set the temp for 78. And with that, winds up this week's video of the Moto Van Pills. After about a year and a half, we finally have a fan. It was a long day, but a rewarding day. I'm excited.